I thought it was kind of weird when saying this, but Windows on this MacBook Air M4 is great. So I've been testing the M4 for about two weeks now and installing Windows was on my list. Wasn't expect much at first, but the result surprised me. So today, let's talk about the integration between macOS and the virtual machine, as well as the Windows application and game performance on this MacBook Air. Let's get started. So first of all, Windows on Mac, why do people even need it? I get this question a lot, and I don't have a solid answer to cover everything, but there are some use cases that I can use as examples. So the first group of people who I think might consider installing Windows on their Mac are those who have just switches to macOS. Not only do they have to get familiar with the whole new interface, but some of their daily apps may not function as they did on Windows. Excel could be a great example. At the basic level, they are quite similar in terms of functionality. But if you are an advanced user, you might notice a lack of features in the Mac version of Excel. Most of them are related to data and integration. Data connection is one example. In Windows, you will have more data sort support compared to the macOS version on the left side. And if you're working with a lot of data analysis, you probably use the Power Pivot feature a lot. And it's also not available on the macOS version. So lack of functionality is not really a big problem because in reverse, Mac also has some features that Windows doesn't have. But I think the reason why people decide to install Windows on their Mac is just because the app that they need doesn't have a Mac version. So let's say you used to edit videos on Premiere Pro or Final Cut, but on the other hand, you will need to finish your design project on Revit, which is only available on Windows. Theoretically, you will need another Windows laptop just to open and work on your project. But since we have parallels, things just get much more simple. You can open and work directly from the convenience of your Mac. This is possible because Parallels support DirectX and OpenGL graphic APIs. So graphic demanding applications like AutoCAD or Revit can be opened and run very stably. And another cool thing about Parallels is it works just like a normal application. You don't need to reboot to switch between Windows or Mac OS. You can either run Windows in full screen mode for a complete window experience or use coherent mode which integrate window apps directly into your Mac environment, even letting you pin them into the Mac dock. It is interesting because now you can work on both apps in different OS at the same time. Also, these apps sync up to each other very well. Features like uh, drag and drop or copy and paste from one to another are also possible. So besides working, gaming is another reason. Because when thinking about playing game, 95% of people thinking about Windows and the rest 5% who own a Mac thinking how to play Windows games on a Mac. So playing Windows games on Mac is not new, but it has become more popular recently as more and more AAA titles come natively to Mac. Additionally, with the support of Apple Game Porting Toolkit, Windows games can now run quite well on Mac. Titles like Battlefield 4 are very playable and this virtual machine with decent FPS ranging from 30 to 40 when running at Full HD resolution. Another game I tried, Batman, can also get between 40 to 55 FPS at 1080p. And of course, there's a lot of more games that you could try on this MacBook Air. If you want to learn more, you could check out this video where I test different game and setting. So if you are watching until this part of the video, you're probably wondering how to install it. Let me show you how. The first step will be follow the link from my description which direct you to the download page. Now you can either try it free for 14 day trial or buy it using my code for 20% off. And if you decide to make a purchase, I would recommend getting the Pro Edition if you plan to do stuff like games or running intensive software like CAD or Revit. But if you intend to use it for light tasks like Excel, the standard edition could be good enough. So now either you get the free trial or complete the purchase, you get the files. Just double click to start the installation process and click next to grant all of the permission for parallels. And finally, click to finish. Now the step is to log in with the credential that you use to log in on the parallels website. After you sign, it will ask you for an activation key. Now if you already purchased it, just enter the key. If you choose the free trial option, click try free for 14 days at the bottom to continue. 
Now click install and wait for about 50 minutes to complete the installation process. The next step will be tricking the configuration of your virtual machine to make it work even better. So from the menu bar, go to the control centers and click to the little settings icon to open the configuration. Now we are going to tweak some of the settings in these three tabs. Firstly, click on general. This is where Parallels gives you different presets for optimizing the virtual machine. I'm going to play games, so I'm going to select games only and click OK. You can select a different one depends on your intention. Moving to the option tab, which works exactly like the macOS settings, I did not change anything here. You can go through each section to set your own preferences. They are pretty much just pick and choose option. Now, most importantly, the hardware tab, where we are going to upscale the CPUs, memories, and graphics. First of all, change it to manual. And since we have 10 CPU cores and 16 gig of RAM, I'm going to dedicate eight cores and 12 gig of RAM. This is my recommendation, but you could set it lower or leave it on automatic if you intend to run macOS and Windows at the same time. Now for graphics, set it to best for Retina display. And that is pretty much everything you need to do to optimize your virtual machine. And that is everything guys. From installation to optimization only took you under 20 minutes. That is crazy when thinking a couple years ago you have to install Windows to bootcamp and it could take you days. But I know there will be some errors, there will be some confliction during the installation in the future. So if you meet those things, make sure to comment your error below under the videos and I'm happy to help. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to apply the code if you purchase Parallel for 20% off. See you guys in the next video. I was Superiority. Food has never been this self-satisfying. Featuring organic, natural, fair trade, macrobiotic, sustainably harvest, farm to table, goji infused, antioxidant rich, seven grain, gluten free, cruelty free, vegan, vegetable, non-genetically modified, zero trans fat, free range foods at prices.